What's up with the YouTube DBK Mafia family? Y'all already know who it is, man. If you don't, it's your boy Mike over here, designers out of Bullet Count, tapping in with you guys one more time for the one time, man. Excuse the hurt, man. It's a bad hair day, man. Gotta get retwisted, man. But y'all know what it is, man. It's a whole bunch of dog business when I turn this camera on, man. But uh, today, uh, before we get into this video, man. If you ain't already part of the family, man, go make sure y'all smack that subscribe button. Join the family, y'all. I already know what it is, man. Um, we having we having fun today, man. So um, today was Banshee's due date. Well, allegedly, um, she was taken to the vet. She's not ready, guys, for another five days or so, man. She was at a twelve when they ran the uh, reverse progesterone test. I didn't take her to the vet. Um, my kennel partner took her to the vet. And she was not ready. So we have to take her back in five days. Um, another thing, man, my backyard. I know I said I was going to set it up with the, you know, four kennel display, you know, set up type thing. But, man, for one, it's getting hot. You know what I'm saying? And then two, the flies, man. I'm, I'm sick of the flies, man. I, I got, you know, some, some uh, quick strike this bait stuff it works really good but i'm just scared of having it around my dogs um so they you know uh won't eat it and all of that so um so today man i just left and went to the store and i had the dogs that i came back i said was overheating and he wasn't in like full-blown exhaustion but he was you know overheating so i had to bring my boy in man he been in for a couple of hours, he, you know, he done bounced back. He back to his regular self, not breathing heavy or anything. But, yeah, that's when I decided not to go with the backyard setup, at least for now. Um, I saw I think I'm just going to probably get rid of it or take it all down and put it up or something. I don't know yet. Um, but I do not want to have my dogs outside um, in this heat, man, because I know it's going to be a very hot summer. And man, if y'all got bulls, man, make sure y'all keep them cool and y'all keep them hydrated, man, because this sun is gonna will kill them dogs, man. It will. But so I got everybody in the garage now, uh, put up, and um, huh? Do I breed them? Yeah. Huh? My bad, y'all. I had somebody uh, asking me about some dogs, man. Every time I pull my dogs out, man, somebody asked me about them. But uh, that's just my neighbor across the street. But yeah, man, I think I'm going to uh, change up my setup. Look at that boy Offset, man. Look at that boy Offset, man. That boy dick in all the right places, man. He ain't growing, man. Y'all better quit playing with him, man. That boy open for stud, man. 500, man, paid in full. Or 750 with a $200 lock-in. That boy is open for stud. Yes, he is. Y'all better stop playing with the boy, man. Y'all see it nine months old. Nine months old, man. And look at him. Beautiful structure. Beautiful coat. Man, y'all hit my DM on Instagram, man. Designer underscore, designer underscore exotics bullet camp, man. For information on, on offset, man. If y'all trying to lock that boy in, man. DM me. Check me out, man. We got him 500. Paid in full or 750 with a $200 lock in. And that's for the first 10 people, man. After his first 10 breedings, the boy going up to 2K, man. I ain't playing no games, man. Because I already know what he can do. I already know what he's bred to produce. So I'm already knowing, man. So I ain't going to just give my blood to anybody, man. For real. So y'all better get in where y'all fit in while it's get, get it, while the getting is good. But, man, we're going to go back here and let these other bulls out. It's, it's kind of cool right now, I guess, because I'm in the shade. But I don't know how I feel in the backyard. But we're going to go in the garage and let the bulls out, man. Probably let them play in the 
in the field over there. I'm not sure yet, but I'll tap in with you guys in a minute. All right, so look, we got some of the bulls in here, man. We're gonna let them out to do their thing in just a second. It feel good in here, man. Yes, sir. We got the AC blowing. I, I still need to do these panels. No heat is coming in from this, but I still want to do it. Um, just because ain't no telling how it's gonna be in the summertime. But look at Banshee, man. She ain't done yet. She ain't ready yet, man. She's still cooking. Still cooking in there. So we're gonna open up. And let these bulls out. Go do their thing in this backyard, man. So let me let them out, y'all, and then I'll uh, tap back in. So we got the bulls out, man. Yes, dogs are moved around, man. I'm only keeping dogs that make sense right now um, here um, that get along. Other dogs are, you know, at my other, at our other kennel, other kennel partner spot. But uh, yeah, man, this this is the this is the uh, camp right here. I think if Ducky didn't take me, I think I'm gonna let her move around too. Um, just because she she is uh, like food aggressive, and hold on, y'all. Okay, so before we get back to Ducky, y'all see I put this right here. Now I can have my gate open, and this when I do my cleanup. Um, I just got this right here so they can't they can't get out. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> I'm always thinking of new ways, man, to, to improve. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah. Again, like I said, those are coming down. I'm not going to have... Um, I don't think I'm going to have anything back here. I'm just going to, you know, let the dogs live inside. And they just come out here every now and again. About three, four times a day, I bring them out and let them, you know, do they do and, and get some some vitamin D, but not too much because it's gonna be a hot summer. And uh, like I was saying about Ducky, man, uh, she is a uh, she food aggressive, so you know uh, everybody else can really eat together, but when Ducky's out, she gonna try to fight you over her food, and then. Um, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I'm just trying to make the the executive, you know, decisions and, and changes that I see fit in running my program, man. And, and, and I'm trying to set my studs up, you know, for success, man. So uh, I was looking at another female who's more cow, more more my style of bully. Um, and... I'm thinking of going to pulling the trigger on on her. Um, Bella, the little Merle female, still, I don't know what they got going on, but they not ready to let her go. So, um, I just put a hold on, well, we just put, uh, agreed to put a hold on her because her kids are all attached and they crying when they try to bring, it's just too much going on with her right now. But uh, she is coming to the camp nevertheless like she is coming but it's just gonna be you know probably at a later date um but um yeah man I'm, I'm just trying to make some moves that's gonna benefit you know benefit my my vision in the long run man and like i said i do have a uh female that i'm looking at and i'm trying to work a deal on but y'all already know once I get them, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to show y'all, show it to y'all anyway. Uh, but yeah, she is supposed to be, he supposed to be bringing her to me, let me check her out in person. Um, and then, I mean, if she is what, what she looked like on, on, um, uh, on pictures and stuff, then I'm going to pull the trigger and I'm going to grab her. Uh, he got her at a great ticket. Uh, 
you know, uh, she she's my type of bull, like I said. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen, man. I'm 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 gonna make it happen. Look. And I bet that's uh chocolate and uh what's his face? Lucky. Cause he is trying to get her. Like really trying to get her. But yeah, man, uh just making some changes to the camp, man, that I that I uh see fit, you know what I'm saying? If it don't fit me or fit my vision and what I'm trying to do with these bulls, then, you know, there's no sense in me, you know, having it around, having it in my program, you know. Even if I'm not gonna breed, her, breed them, I'd do like a pet home or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Or just sell them and let other people breed them. So, uh, the lineup that I, that, that, that I have, uh-oh, the lineup that I currently have is, uh, we got chocolate, we got beefcake, we got cash doll, um, we got uh, chocolate, beefcake, cash doll, uh, left eye, she's a work in progress, you know, uh, growing up, we're gonna grow her, we're growing her out. Um, um, do, 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 I can't think right now. I don't know. I can't think, y'all. Yeah. Bunny. We got Bunny. Um, Bella. She's coming. So we're going to add her. We got Bella. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. As far as for the program goes for females. Oh, and we got Banshee. Banshee. So yeah, we we got some nice, you know, a nice lineup, man. Nice little lineup of females. You know, of course we got Ducky and you know, um, oh and Nova. We got Nova too. So you know, yeah, man. The the, the camp is looking good, man. It just gotta make sense. You know what I'm saying? It gotta make sense, man. So let me um do some maintenance to this cage right quick. I'm, I'm, I seen that one of the screws loose, so I'm about to uh, tighten that screw back up, and then uh, I'm going to turn the camera back on when I go back there with the bulls. Yep, yeah, guys, we got everybody out, man. Got everybody out doing what they do. Makes sense this way, man. Even uh, Kit Kat, man. I'm, I'm, um, I'm not gonna get rid of them, but I gotta move them around. Hey, get there. See this? Come here, chocolate. Don't make me chase you. Come here. Get it out your mouth. Drop. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. No. I gotta pick that spoon up because when I leave, she's gonna get it. Fork. I'll pick it up later, but. These dogs know what's up, man. Only one hard headed is that little one right there. Oh, she hard headed. Me and her be fighting all the time. Everybody else, they mind, man. But she coming along, man. She get it. She understand. And she know what she be doing, too. So, um, yeah, I got to move him around because he is male aggressive. But he done got his butt beat already for fighting. He was trying to jump on uh, Lucky. I had to beat his butt, so he know what's up. So yeah, guys, y'all let me know if y'all think I should um, get rid of my the setup back here and uh, just move them in. A lot of people be like, 
you know, in the garage, they be like, oh, they live so terribly. But what's worse, living in the garage, whereas climate control or living out here sleeping on the grass and on the on the concrete and out here, like come on man that don't make like make it make sense man make it make sense they i don't know i don't know what they expect what people expect to see when they looking at a you know looking at a kennel uh indoor kennel is you know like like this you know what i'm saying like how's that how's that bad living condition it's clean it's it's sanitized you know what i'm saying it's 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 cool in the in the in the um summer and and i got heat for the winter so i don't know man people people they irk me make my balls itch but it's uh oh it's food in there get back move move it's food in here i don't want them eating no food this after they cannot eat anything Especially left eye and see the main one her fat butt trying to eat something Hold on y'all Uh, yeah, I had to go get that food. There's food back there, man Ain't no more eating for the rest of the day. They eat tomorrow I fed them too much today anyway, so um, But yeah, man, I Gotta make the The camp make sense, man So with the you know with these breedings that we're doing puppies on the way and and things like that um it's only right that i you know move dogs around and get them you know uh, a chance at a at a uh you know a, a better life or whatever you know because man managing eight dogs is way better than managing 25 26 dogs you know what i'm saying so um but every one of these dogs get loved man every one of these dogs get loved they they come in the house, you know what I'm saying, and let them knock over stuff and all of that. But you know, it just when it comes on the on the business side, on the business aspect of it, you know, you gotta you know you gotta make it work for you for you. You know what I'm saying. So my vision is not everybody else's vision. So I do what works for me. So we got them out. They having a, a pissing contest, pissing over, pissing over each other's piss, and nothing even, nothing is even coming out. So yeah, man, it's what we looking like for now. And we'll see what that uh, let y'all see what that girl look like tomorrow. Uh, he said he called me earlier, said he was bringing her tomorrow morning. So we'll see. Um, if so, then I'll drop that video tomorrow around the same time, maybe, or probably early. I'll probably get an early video tomorrow. Might do two in one. Might do uh, two videos tomorrow because I got something else I want to share with y'all anyway. So, uh, yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But, man, look at Lucky, man. That boy is nice, man. Clean, exotic, man. Got him open to 750 paid in full or 1000 with a 500 lock-in. 750 paid in full or a thousand with a 500 lock in for lucky um kit kat he's at a thousand with a 500 lock in so y'all want to use that boy kit kat so yeah man we got uh three studs man and they and they all bring something different you know to the table as you guys can see they all bring something different but yeah, man, y'all want to tap in, man? I'll leave. I I'll drop my number at the bottom of the screen. Y'all can tap in with me, man, and uh, or DM me on Instagram, Design Exotics Bullet Camp, Designer underscore Exotic Exotics Bullet Camp on IG. And yeah, man, tap in with me, man. We can make something happen for sure. But we're going to end this video right here, guys. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I appreciate y'all for holding it down, man. We hold it down over here, man. I appreciate y'all for real. From the bottom of my heart, man, I always thanking God first, you know what I'm saying? Keeping God first. Make sure you do the same, man. Till next time, I'll holler at y'all, man. If y'all ain't already, subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. Till next time, peace.